Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. Guys, today we're going to be talking about something a little bit different. I keep saying that, but it's not actually pretty true. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're going to be talking about a future 1.6 banner character. If you guys don't want to hear any of this to spoil yourself or whatever it may be, this is going to be a disclaimer before you continue on to the video. So if you guys don't want to be spoiled in any way, shape or form about the 1.6 or future of Genshin Impact banners, um, yeah, that's a disclaimer for you. Anyways, we're going to be talking about the 1.6 new character that everybody's been talking about. The animal samurai character, Kazuha. And I like how he looks. <laughs> I like the whole idea of him being like a samurai. And the whole animal character being samurai type thing. I feel like there's a lot of potential in that. And I cannot wait to see what he does or... Uh, to see the live stream that's going to be coming out very soon and i can't wait to react to it as well so why i'm making this video is for you guys to be a little bit prepared for kaza if you are planning to summon for him um as you guys know i fully fully summoned on eula literally have no gems left nothing remaining i spent all my primary gems all my intertwined fates on this banner and you know, it's gonna be it's gonna be a while until I can replenish any of that. So what's gonna happen with me, I'm probably I might summon on Kazha on my other account in which um I'm gathering like some intertwined fates so I can summon on that banner. And I'm not really quite sure yet if I want to summon on it. Uh, I'm gonna have to see some gameplay uh when the live stream comes out for Kazaha. And I honestly cannot wait. Uh, the idea of an animal character being a whole samurai, it's kind of crazy. kind of wonder what he's going to be like. Um, I wonder his, what his stats would be. A lot of people are saying he's going to like be elemental mastery or whatever. But um, it's not confirmed. Nothing is confirmed. And yeah. Um, I could go to Honey Impact and kind of, you know, see some leaks. Usually it's uh, pretty um, reliable. But I kind of don't want to do that. <laughs> Just to... Hold on to some sort of mystery if you guys can. Anyways, he's gonna be awesome. He's gonna be amazing. Um, a lot of people are skipping Eula just so they can summon on Kaza. Makes sense, especially for a lot of free-to-play players. Um, like you don't have much um, primary gems and to begin with, right? You're gonna save for the character you like, and that makes sense. Uh, to be honest, Eula is amazing. Um, I'm glad I did summon on her. Um, I really enjoy her playstyle and everything. So yeah, I, I'm really, I do not regret my decision. But if Kazuha comes out and he's like, oh, I'm going to be the best character in the game. <laughs> I'm going to be a little annoyed, but it is what it is, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I'm probably going to be also skipping the Klee banner. Um, and of course, the Kazuha banner, if they have good four stars, I might, I might summon. But I don't know. So for Klee, I'm assuming they're gonna release a 4 star character to go alongside her. Because, I don't know, they did the same thing with Tartaglia with Rosaria. They did the same thing with Zhongli and Yanfei. So I wouldn't be surprised if they release another 4 star character. No idea who they may be. Um, so I'm kind of excited to know if that character is going to be available to us all. Um, or if... Plea is gonna have a character on her banner. If she doesn't, that's kind of good, so people can save their primary gems for Kazaha. But if she does, uh, I don't know. If you're free to play, you might want to skip, because all four-star new banner characters go into the standard banner after the you know the next patch. So uh, if you guys didn't get a chance to get Yenfei in this 1.5 patch. You can get her in 1.6 in the standard banner, so you guys don't have to worry too much about that. Anyways, guys, um, another thing we're going to be talking about is Kazha's potential um, in, in the game in general. We already have, what, how many animal characters? One, two, three for Sucrose, and four for Traveler. Uh, I'm probably missing another one, but that's already four. And they're making a fifth. I I really wonder why there's so many, because we <laughs> we can't have all of them in a team. Like legitimately, we can't have all of them in a team. And 
I'm kind of wondering what this would lead to in the future because if we just get stacked on like one type of you know element on it like all your characters and you level up only that type of elements kind of be weird wouldn't it um so yeah i already have a bunch of animal characters and i kind of don't want another one and that's the only reason that i'm deciding oh should i get him should i not should i save my gems and it's looking like i might save unless his potential with elemental mastery or whatever it may be goes crazy <laughs> then I'll, I'll i'll see what what happens then but uh, yeah anyways guys i hope you guys did enjoy this video hope you guys got something from this any information at all to help you with your future banner endeavors anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video hope you guys did enjoy consider subscribing to my channel if you guys haven't already see you guys in the next video goodbye